This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Val E from Microsoft. So what is Val E? Val E is a text to speech synthesis system which makes use of a natural language modeling approach. Specifically, they use something called as a neural codec language model. Okay, which makes use of discrete codes derived from off the shelf neural audio codec model. And it regards text to speech as a conditional language modeling task rather than continuous signal regression as in previous work. So what is the idea over here? The idea is that if you have a three second recording of a person and the text which you want this person to, uh, you know, in that person's voice, then you can generate a personalized speech. So this is a text to speech system. So you have some text and you want it to be rendered in a particular person's voice, right? In a, uh, so it is personalized speech. Okay. So here are some examples over here. Okay, for example, if this is the recording. Milked cow. Okay, so in this voice, now you want to actually generate some uh, text to speech. And lay me down in thy coal bed and leave my shining lot. So this text is generated in this person's voice. That's the idea over here. Okay, and another example, maybe let's try out this. He told his visitors as he lighted a pipe with a... Okay, so in this particular voice, this particular style, uh, let's try this text, how it comes out. Instead of shoes, the old man wore boots with turnover tops it's and his blue coat had white cups voice. of gold braid. It's very difficult to make out, right? That it's a generated audio, okay? So the idea is that if you have text like this and if you have a three second recording of a person and you give as it as an input to Valley, the output you get is your personalized speech of this text, okay, in that person's voice. So you can clone your voice. That's the claim over here. And it's quite interesting, okay. So the difference between uh, this and previous models is that this particular system has been trained on training data of 60K hours of English speech, which is 100 times larger than the existing systems, okay. And the other difference is that in the traditional pipeline, if you go to the traditional pipeline in their paper, what they say is that the traditional pipeline makes use of phoneme, mel spectrogram, waveform. So it is in the audio domain, right? Whereas here you have phoneme and then you have discrete codes which are, uh, uh, you know, generated from a audio, audio codec and then it is converted to a waveform. Okay, that is the difference. So they say over here that, uh, you know, this I told before, a lot of training data, objective function is language model, 60K hours of training data when compared to less than 600 hours for current systems. And uh, intermediate representation is audio codec code. Okay. And then if you go down, what they are saying is that, uh, you know, uh, just by scaling up semi-supervised data, they could get better performance in the uh, a generalized uh, text to spe uh, speech system in a speaker dimension. So that is this has been underestimated. That is the scaling up of semi supervised data from 600 hours to 60k hours. Okay. And uh, there are a lot of other details in this paper, uh, which I'll not be covering because I've not fully read the paper, uh, fully not understood the paper. So I'm not covering that. So this is just a short, uh, you know, a demo of uh, whatever VAL E stands for. Okay. So here there is also some other interesting things like, uh, you know, emotion can be maintained. Okay. So for example, uh, let's go to that. Yeah. Speaker's emotion. For example, here you have this text. We have to reduce the number of plastic bags. And so this is disgusted, right? So emotion is disgusted. So let's listen to this. Matt, she said. Okay. Now let's listen to the text generated by Valley maintaining this emotion on this text. Let's listen to the audio. We have to reduce the number of plastic bags. Okay. So it kind of maintains the emotion. For example, let's go to sleepy. Shut down and dig in. Okay. So it's like in a sleepy way of, uh, you know, uh, uh, generating the audio for this text. Let's see. We have to reduce the number of plastic bags. So it kind of maintains the emotion, right? Now, if you go to this, it also maintains the acoustic environment. For example, this looks uh, right. Would you like about one flew over the cookies? It's like a telephone call or something like that, right? Now, let's see the generated audio for this text. 
Oh, thank you. It's like, you know, I'm more convenient too. So it maintains that acoustic environment as well. Uh, it also maintains the synthesis of diversity. Given a pair of text and speaker prompts, it can synthesize diverse personal speech samples with different random seats. Okay. So because we do not need it, this is the text. This is the prompt or the audio. We live by the rule of law. This is the first sample which because has been generated. Because we do not need it. Okay. This is the second sample. Because we do not need it. Okay. For the same voice, you can have different, uh, you know, uh, text, different uh, randomized with randomized seats. You can get different, uh, what you call, diverse speech. Okay. So there are a lot of other uh, text, demo, what you call, text to audio demos, text to speech demos over here. You can check out this page. You can also have a look at this paper. This paper also refers to a lot of other papers like audio LM and uh, you know, high fidelity neural audio compression. So you can also look into these papers. I'll put the link of this uh, demo page as well as this paper along with these papers in the description of the video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.